All right, so we have our chicken cut and we're all ready for the chattered and oven baked KFC recipe that's famous. Tell me how you came about this recipe. Okay, so uh, I am quite partial to fried chicken, uh, but it's not always practical to have your deep fryer out. Uh, I know I don't have mine out very often. Uh, so I wanted a version that was maybe a little bit healthier, a bit easier, a bit more doable for a midweek meal when you've got hungry kids that need feeding. So this is how this recipe was born. I tried lots of different variations for the crumb and this one is our favorite. It's totally adaptable. You can add more spices if you want. You can add different flavors. It's completely up to you. This is sort of just a base to aim for. So we've got our chicken jointed into eight pieces. We're gonna drizzle the chicken with some olive oil. Okay, and this is gonna help the, the crumb stick to the chicken. So we're just gonna drizzle that on. And then we're gonna rub the chicken to make sure that the olive oil is all over the chicken. Now we're gonna season the chicken itself. I know there is uh, salt in the actual crumb as well, but it's really important to get some of that salt onto the skin. It helps uh, with the flavor and it also helps the skin go a little bit crispier. So we're just gonna sprinkle with salt onto all of the chicken and get it onto the skin. Okay, then we're going to use a large Ziploc bag. We're going to pour our crumb recipe in and then put all of the chicken pieces into the bag. Okay. And then she gets to massage the chicken, that's her favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> so seal the bag and then your everything doesn't go everywhere. And if you just turn the bag and kind of make sure all of the, the crumb goes all over the chicken, sort of give it a bit of a shake. You want to make sure that the chicken is evenly coated. And the olive oil will help everything stick. Okay, and there we go. Everything is ready to go on to the, uh, you need a cooling rack over a lime tray and that's going to help the juices of the chicken sort of come out a little bit from the skin and it's going to help everything crisp up. You don't need to turn the chicken as well. You can just stick it on the tray and then throw it in the oven. Thank you. Can you just take one piece out so we can see the beautiful color on your chicken? Okay. And if that needs any more, after you lay them all, you just take some more seasoning and, and pack it on. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Elise. What I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to walk over to the oven, open it up, because our very first chicken that we did together is baking right now in the oven. And we'll have some photographs shortly. Look at, there's our setup. So it's up on the rack, as Elise said. Oh my gosh, look at that. Definitely want to have something under to catch all those beautiful drippings. And thank you. No worries. Thank you thank so much. You. I hope you can hear the standing ovation. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Let me know how it goes. Bye.